Okay, hello again to uh, Joshua, Jacob, Freddie and Thomas, another one of Storytime with Grandad, and this time we're going to have One Snowy Night by Nick Butterworth, part of his uh, Parsi the Park Keeper stories, and there's a, the book if you can see that. So, here we go. It's cold in the park in winter, but Percy the Park Keeper doesn't mind. He puts on his warm coat and his big scarf and wears two pairs of woolly socks inside his Wellington boots. Percy likes to be outside in the fresh air. And in the middle of the park there is a little hut and this is where Percy lives. When it gets too cold to be outside, Percy goes into his hut where it's cosy and warm. And the animals who live in the park all know Percy's hut. And every day he shares his lunch with them. Now one winter's night, it was so cold it began to snow and great big snowflakes fell past the window of Percy's hut. Brrrr, said Percy, I think I'll need an extra blanket tonight. He made himself some hot cocoa and got ready for bed. Suddenly, Percy heard a tapping sound and there was somebody at the door. Now who can that be at this time of night, thought Percy. And he went to the door and looked out. But there he is before he goes to the door. Looking out of his window, as you see, it's a rather snowy night. <laughs> now there on the step was a squirrel. It looked very cold and miserable. I can't get to sleep, Percy, said the squirrel. My bed is full of snow. Oh dear, said Percy. Well, never mind, I've got plenty of room for two. And the squirrel snuggled down next to Percy and soon began to feel warm. Knock, knock. It was the door again. Now who can that be? thought Percy. And standing outside were two shivering rabbits. It's f freezing, said one rabbit. We're f frozen, said the other. You poor things, said Percy. Come in and warm up. The rabbits squeezed into the bed next to Percy and the squirrel. There wasn't much room. Could you face the other way? Percy asked the squirrel. Your tail is tickling my nose. Knock, knock. Oh dear, said Percy. Now there's someone else at the door. And it was a fox, and the fox looked very cold and hungry. Can I come in too? he asked. And there he is, the fox, with the snow on top of his head, looking like a flat cap. Percy scratched his head and thought for a minute. Well, if you promise to behave, he said. I promise, said the fox. Then he squeezed into bed next to all the other animals. Bump, oops, squirrel fell out. Who did that? asked the squirrel crossly. Knock, knock, knock. Good gracious, said Percy. It's the door again. This time, Percy had quite a surprise. There on the step were a badger, two ducks, a hedgehog and a whole family of mice. And they all wanted a bed for the night. And there they are, all queuing up, trying to get in. Well, poor old Percy, and poor old Percy's bed. The animals pushed and shoved and rolled around the bed, but there was just not enough room for them all. And soon the bed covers ended up in a big tight ball. And then bump, the covers rolled right off the bed and everybody fell onto the floor. Oh dear, said Percy, this won't do at all. My bed is just too small. Suddenly, one of the mice pricked up his ears. What's that noise? he squeaked. Everyone listened hard. Now they could all hear it. There was a scratching, scraping sound and it seemed to be coming from underneath them. There's something moving under the floor, whispered Percy. Now the animals looked frightened and the mice all started to squeak at once. Oh dear, what, what can it be? It, it might be a monster with fierce claws and sharp teeth. The noise grew louder and louder and then one of the floorboards began to move. Look out, it's coming up through the floor. And suddenly there was a loud creak. Help, cried the animals, and they all ran to hide. But Percy wasn't frightened. He started to chuckle, and then he laughed out loud. A small dark head was sticking up through the floorboards. This isn't a monster, said Percy, it's a mole. I'm sorry to burst in like this, said the mole. I knocked on the door, but nobody heard me. Percy helped the mole up through the hole in the floor. 
sat him in his hot water bottle to get warm and put the floorboard back. But it's all right, everyone, he called. He can come out now. But nobody moved. Nobody stirred. Nobody wanted to come out. The squirrel was tucked away in the pocket of Percy's dressing gown. The hedgehog was in his coat. The fox, the rabbits, the badger and the ducks were all safely hidden away. The mice even squeezed themselves into Percy's slippers. Everyone had found a cosy bed. Well, I never, said Percy. So then Percy yawned and snuggled down into his own bed once again. Well, that's better. Now I've got plenty of room, he said, and a little to spare for a mole. And if we look on the picture here, you might see, I don't know if you can see all that, but all the animals all stuck away in different parts of Percy's bedroom, in his hut, in his drawers, in his gown, all nice and snug. And that was a story of one snowy night, Percy the Park Keeper.